All right, let's talk about Osama Bin Laden. Osama Bin Laden. So Osama Bin Laden, I don't need to tell you who Osama Bin Laden is. I think everyone knows. What I'm going to say is that I've been toying with this idea of where is America today? And there was a time, I'm old enough, where I remember a time when America felt vastly different. So, and I think the turning point for this shift between what we know as America today and what America used to be was 9-11. Okay, and um, I, was, I was in my last year of college uh, when 9-11 happened. I was actually studying abroad in Germany and that morning, for some reason, I turned on TV. I never watched TV, but that morning, I turned on TV for some reason, and um, you know, we were, my roommates and I were talking, and um, in the middle of this talk, suddenly the news came out on all channels in Germany. And um, you saw, literally, with your eyes, live, a plane crash into a tower. Um, well, actually, sorry, what happened was that they didn't crash. I saw, I saw the first the news came out where one first plane already crashed into a tower. And they were still thinking, oh, this is the worst accident in American aviation history. And then as they were saying that, a second plane crashed right literally in front of reporters back. And then everything changed. Literally everything changed. I remember that morning going to class and German friends were all um, expressing their condolences to, to me because they know I'm American. Uh, and um, it was quite touching, it was really touching. And what happened next was this launch of patriotism and um, fervor for to protect America, to ins insert America's uh, revenge upon the, the Muslims all across the world. I mean, sure, Osama bin Laden was the main culprit, but there was a big hate toward the Muslim, very similar to the hate that towards Asian now, especially, well, Chinese, but most people don't even know who Chinese are. They think everybody that looks East Asian is Chinese are, right? So, I remember the slogan like, oh, these colors don't run, blah, 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 was all the rage back then. There was people were putting flags on every household, people were putting these stickers, slogan stickers on every cars and trucks. And it was, in a way, it was kind of a moving because you, you, you have never seen a country of so many diversified people coming together for for an issue or for a cause. And of course, what proceeded was George W. Bush, war in Iraq, um, war, wars in Afghanistan, uh, the Guantanamo Bay, all these things, right? As America trying to take revenge and uh, around the world for what happened in the U.S. Initially, I think that everyone thought, so we're getting the upper hand. America's getting the upper hand, right? And when Obama's mission killed Osama bin Laden, finally, and in Afghanistan, you know, what God knows, 10 plus years later, everyone put a, kind of closed the books that, you know, we got this guy, we finally we got our revenge. But they didn't, the book didn't, history didn't play out that way, did it? The wars continued. Wars in the Middle East continued. The uh, U.S.'s influence um, and mingling in the Middle East continued more and more. Uh, and there's continued, you see, now in Damascus, Syria, in Lebanon, in Libya, all these things starting to, 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 to continue. Uh, because um, it's, I think it's that during that watershed moment in American history when America felt, for the first time, fear. And... Uh, this fear has played out, plagued the world, but more importantly, I think it has plagued America. This fear, I think, is what the true cause today is, is aggressiveness, this um, mistrust, a lack of uh, sympathy, lack of, of, of togetherness. And you know, and the war, more. You see on the news, on TV, that American mainstream talk about, oh, let's come together, or let's have social harmony, or let's, let's work together. The more you actually know that it's not doing that. Because people always promote, not perpetuate, but promote the qualities they do not have. So whenever a nation promotes a certain quality, 
you just think the opposite. That's usually what they lack. Whatever they're promoting is what they lack. And whatever America is promoting, independence, freedom, and so forth, America is lacking. In fact, they are losing it slowly, 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 slowly. So I think there should be some level of introspection in America. It's like, did Osama bin Laden get the best of us? Did one man change the course of US history? Even greater than, than people like Lincoln or, you know, or Thomas Jefferson or Alexander Hamilton. And right now, of course, I live in this era, so my thinking is more attached to this time frame. I'm sure it's quite different for people who lived 200 years ago. I just know what is now and what is now is more prevalent to me. But I would say that he has. This Osama bin Laden man guy has forever changed course of U.S. history. And not for the better. This fear that he instilled, is this insecurity which he instilled in America, in American people. And predominantly, I would say, white American people. He showed that how even why such a country that strong can be vulnerable. And then for the, for the last 20 years, America has been chasing around the world, trying to put out fire, trying to prevent potential dangers, even today. right? And whether those dangers are real or not is immaterial. It's the act of putting out dangers, the billions and trillions that spend on war effort, on foreign occupation, foreign aggression, foreign intervention. All that has a payback in America, whether in torn society, whether in disabled veterans, or you know, whether it's in people mis distrusting, mis mistrusting and, and each other, or is this fakeness of trying to get along when deep down everyone knows no one's getting along. So maybe this talk is not so much about Osama bin Laden but his legacy. And I want to ask our, 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 my, those who chance upon my video, if they are Americans, to, to, to say, you know, did Osama bin Laden win in the end? And, and at least in this time in history, but sadly, I feel the answer is yes, he did win. He did achieve what he wanted. Greater, way above and greater than two planes crash into the Twin Towers and another one playing the Pentagon. That's it for today.